Hi guys. Um, for the past few weeks, I receive a lot of questions from Filipino nurses in Ireland and UK about the registration process here in New Zealand. I know a lot of you guys are really keen to move to New Zealand or Australia in the future. So that's why I'm doing this video to help you guys. Kasi alam ko yung iba hindi ko na nare-replyan or hindi ko fully nasasagot yung mga tanong. Sorry, ang dami nyo lang talaga kasi. Um, and I just wanna congratulate Sherry for getting her registration in New Zealand. She lives in Dublin. She works in Dublin. And hopefully, makapunta na siya dito sa New Zealand. And in the future in Australia. And congratulations din kay Kim in Dublin. Papunta na siya sa Australia, I think on April. And to John in London. Um, two years na kaming magka-chat na ito. Pero hindi pa kami nag-meet. Hopefully, mag-meet na tayo this year sa Australia, sa Melbourne. So, see you. And to Sir Icha, congratulations in advance. I know magagrand ka ng direct registration sa New Zealand. And I hope to see you here on June. <laughs> process ko before is different sa process now. So, I started my application way back 2018. And New Zealand Nursing Council changed it last October 2019. So, ngayon meron ng CGFNS. Before, ang lahat ng documents ko sinend ko sa New Zealand Nursing Council and they are the one who assess all the documents. But now, CGFNS will do that for them. So, I think it will be faster. Kasi wala ng New Zealand Embassy Attestament, wala ng Red Ribbon. So, before starting the registration process, Make sure na mamit nyo yung standards na nire-require ng the nursing council to be able to register here in New Zealand. Make sure you could prove your identity. The second one is the English requirement. So IELTS, you need 7 in all bands. And then in OET, you need at least 350 score in all bands as well. But if you're working in Ireland or UK, I think you could waive your English test, but I'm just not sure kung how many years yung nire require ng New Zealand Nursing Council for you to be exempted sa English test. Because I know someone na na-exempt or na-waive yung English test niya, but he was like working for about 4 to 5 years na sa Ireland. Wala kasi nakalagay sa website kung how many years yung dapat kang nag-work sa mga English speaking countries before they could waive you from the English test. So better email na lang yung New Zealand Nursing Council and they will respond to you quickly. It will just take probably one to two days uh, before they respond but at least mag magkakaroon kayo ng idea kung may exempt pa kayo or not. The next standard is you have to have your current registration valid. So, kung graduate kayo sa Pilipinas, dapat valid pa yung PRC license nyo. And then, valid din dapat yung NMBI nyo or yung NMC nyo. Of course, graduate ng bachelor's degree. Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. Pinin ko naman lahat tayo mamimit yun. <laughs> Post-registration experience. So, 2,500 hours work experience ang needed and it should be for the past 5 years. Fitness to practice. So, dapat Um, wala kayong criminal history. Dapat malinis yung um, malinis yung records nyo. And then the last one is competent to practice. So most nurses are required to do the competency assessment program, especially if you're coming from the Philippines. But if you're from Singapore, UK, Ireland, USA, um, and Canada, you might be exempted. So guys, might be exempted. Hindi ko ma-guarantee sa inyo 100% na same tayo ng magiging outcome. But, I think you really have a high chance to be exempted. It will still depend sa case officer nyo. So, huwag nyo ako tanongin kung sure ba na may exempt kayo. I'm just sharing yung experience ko, yung ginawa kong way or pathway uh, para maging registered nurse dito sa New Zealand. Baka kasi makatulong, makatipid. Pero, sabi ko lang, take it at your own risk para walang sisihan. <laughs> so, how much will this cost? For CGFNS, it will cost you around 300 US dollars. And for the Nursing Council application, it will cost you 485 New Zealand dollars. 
nung time ko, I think I paid about 700 um, New Zealand dollars. So, medyo, medyo malaki talaga yung kakaiba sa price ngayon. So, pag namit nyo yung lahat ng standard na yun, pwede nyo na i-start yung application process. Uh, mas maganda kasi na sure kayo na qualified kayo para hindi masayang yung binayad nyo. So, first of all, first step is go to CJFNS International website and create an account. After creating an account, makikita nyo doon yung list of documents na kailangan nyo i-upload. So, same as the standards sa nursing council, kailangan nyo i-prove yung identity nyo. Yung employment history nyo, education history, license validation from your professional bodies like NMBI, PRC, or NMC, and of course, provide your language proficiency like your IELTS or OET. Nandun naman sa website lahat ng documents na kailangan nyo kailangan nyo mamit or kailangan nyo i-provide. And I'm sure malinaw yung instructions nila doon. Meron ding sinend sa akin yung isa sa mga nagpa-process sa Ireland ng CGFNS na sample ng document. So, ito yung form um, that your employer, your, the nursing council like NMBI, PRC, NMC needs to fill out. Um, your school needs to fill out and you need to fill out. Ayun nga guys, it should be your employer, um, the professional bodies, um, the school are the one supposed to be sending the documents to CGFNS. So, make sure na ma-comply natin lahat ng requirements nila kasi very strict ang CGFNS. They won't accept it kung ikaw yung magsasend. And sabi naman ni John from Ireland naman, ang dami naming John. <laughs> so, ito yung uh, message niya sa akin. Ito yung mga make sure na dapat natin gawin or dapat gawin ng hospital ng employer ng PRC ng nursing council. Yan yung mga dapat natin gawin. So, hopefully magawa natin para wala maging problem. So, thank you so much, John, kasi marami kang matutulungan sa pagsabi mo sa akin ng mga dapat gawin at sa mga pag-send mo ng form sa akin. So, merong idea yung mga manonood ng video. Now, after you've done all your documents required by the CGFNS and they've assessed you and completed the assessment, you need to request CGFNS to, to send your report to the nursing council. It will take at least three working days for the nursing council to receive your report. Then, uh, may marireceive kang email from nursing council na inaalaw ka nang uh, mag-apply online for your registration. So, after that, mag apply ka na sa nursing council. So, doon na natin malalaman if you need to do a competency assessment program or exempted ka na sa bridging program and you could you could be registered directly. So, again, it will still be based sa case officer nyo, sa assessment na case officer nyo. Um, but, I know, and I think, malaki yung chance na ma-exempt. But still, I cannot guarantee it 100%. So yun nga, after, after masses ng nursing council, they might require you um, they might require you to do an international criminal history check or ICHC and it will cost at least 149 AUD um, per country, I think so. So kung tumira sa Pilipinas and sa Ireland, you have to do criminal check to that, to both countries. Pero madali lang yun, it's online. So you could use fit to work um, for that. Bibigyan nila kayo ng steps or ng instruction kung paano nyo gagawin yun. Mostly, yung criminal check, pag nirequire nila kayo nun, ang laki na ng possibility na na-exempt na kayo sa uh, competency assessment program. Kasi, as far as I know, yung criminal check, nire-require yun ng, mga, ng nursing council bago ka mag-take ng, or bago ka mag, bago ka mag-cap competency assessment program bago ka mag-start ng school, yun yung pagkakaalam ko. Kasi sa akin, nung na-require na ako ng ICHC, yung sumunod na is, nakita ko na yung registration number ko. 
So, ayun. <laughs> I was so pleased. I was so happy. So, hopefully, um, nakatulong tong video na to. Lahat naman, guys, nasa Nursing Council website, nasa CGFNS, lahat ng instruction nandun. We just need to read and, uh, and understand yung sinasabi nila. Um, I just made this video para kahit pa paano makatulong. But still, you need to do your research. I'm... I'm glad naman to answer questions. I'll try to answer your questions. Just leave a comment below. Um, and if you think then uh, magandang gumawa tayo ng group, like um, nurses in Ireland and UK to New Zealand and Australia, sabihin nyo lang. Kasi medyo madami na rin tayo. And I think tayo-tayo na rin yung magtulungan. Um, tulungan din natin yung iba na interested. Um, uh, interested din lumipat. So, if you think na it's a good idea to do a group, just leave a comment below and i-add ko lahat ng mga nag-message sa akin. Kasi, I think ang dami ko na talagang nasagot na questions. Ang dami, na, ang dami talagang nagtatanong and ang dami din interested. So, ayun. Hopefully guys, nakatulong tong video na to. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and leave a comment below and like this video. Sa susunod na video ulit, bye-bye!